These are five shifty half spin moves that you should add to your bag ASAP. The basic half spin, that's your first move. The big thing you want to pay attention to is whichever hand's dribbling that same side foot, you want to think about pulling it back. Now, if you notice, a lot of times when I do it, I'll actually hop so both feet come off the ground. That'll speed the whole movement up and make it so you're a little bit more explosive. But you wanna stay low to the ground with your feet and try to stay on the balls of your feet. That'll make the move a lot quicker, more effective, and shifty, and it'll give you more options with where you move on that half spin since you're not gluing one foot to the ground. So a simple drill for this is to set two cones up about shoulder width apart at the free throw line and then one about the same distance so you make a 90 degree angle. Do your half spin and then as soon as you come out of it, try to touch that cone that's closer to the hoop. That'll help you work on being explosive out of the move and coming in a straight line so once you fake your defender out, you will seal them off in a game situation. Be sure you stay tuned for the last move because that one's probably my favorite. Before we jump into the next move, if you haven't grabbed the free hybrid ball handling workout that I'll pin to the top comment that'll help you take your handles next level fast all these moves will be enhanced from that workout it only takes minutes to do and it's free so why not get it next move is to go from that half spin directly into a crossover pull the ball back in one dribble push it forward and crossover in that second dribble now if you're more of a beginner you could go dribble to pull dribble to push and then one more to cross over but it's most effective if you can get it off in two dribbles so whichever hands pulling the ball back that same side foot you want to also pull back and then push forward hard and step into it hard to help sell that fake and if you want to be as shifty as possible make sure you're working on all these moves with both hands that'll really help your footwork your handle and just give you more options in game situations so no matter what your defender's doing you'll have a way to beat them so for the drill it's gonna be similar to the last one with the cone setup the only difference is after the crossover, from that, you want to go into your cone touch. So after that crossover, you're coming right in a straight line to the hoop. Again, that's going to help you seal off your defender, get that off arm active, get your hips low, and get that shoulder low so the defender can't steal the basketball. And you can make sure you're being explosive with that first step so you're getting by him. Next move is to go right from that half spin and instead of doing a regular crossover, you'll go between the legs. So this will add a little bit of extra protection for the basketball because that leg will be kind of a shield from your defender so they can't get into the basketball. Now there's two ways you can go about doing the footwork on this one. You can do half spin back, half spin forward, and then between the legs. Or in the second version, you'll start with the half spin and then only come quarter of the way back and go between the legs and then face your body back forward. Drill for this one's gonna be pretty much the same as the last one. Next move is wicked unorthodox and gives you a nasty fake that will send defenders flying. You're going to go right from that half spin, pulling the ball back, and then as you push it forward, you're going to go reverse between the legs. So you're going to push the ball from behind you in between the legs to the front. Again, really focus on making that step aggressive and leaning into it just like you did with the regular crossover. Also, pay attention when you go reverse between the legs. You want to push the basketball kind of sideways, not so much forward because otherwise you'll push it right towards the defender where they can get to it. And you also want to kind of let the ball go a little more on this one so you can get some momentum going forward and then get your second hand back on the basketball to resume your dribble. The drill for this is also the same as the last two. Next move is probably my favorite. You're going to go from that half spin and then this time you're going to make the crossover behind the back. So it kind of keeps the ball hidden from your defender and it's going to pop out on the other side, something that's going to be unexpected and they will not see coming. This one might take a little bit more time to get down, but it's great because it protects the basketball, the entire motion and it'll just throw defenders off. Good chance you'll get some ankles on this one or just leave your defender frozen and stunned as you blow by them. If you want to take these moves next level, make sure you grab that free workout I'll pin to the top comments and I'll also have another YouTube video with moves you can combo in with these.